everyone. So my class starts in five minutes and I'm just sitting now in my living room so that I have a beautiful neutral background um, for my team's class. I personally always have my camera on. I sit right next to my Wi-Fi router in my living room. I have to start writing an essay. Uh, it's not a huge drama because I already did like all the research and I have ups, like written up some notes about my thoughts. So when it comes to writing, what I do is I just like sit down and I type it all up and then I read through again and again and again and again. But like the hard part of reading articles and getting all the facts and the key scholars on the topics, I it's in my brain. So I just have to put it from my brain on the paper. The second thing I need to do today is prepare for tomorrow's team seminar. So I had, today I had a class for terrorism and political violence, and tomorrow I have class for Europe and the world, so I have to uh, still watch the lecture and do the reading. Personally, I started off the year doing like the lecture on one day and then doing the reading kind of like how it would have been if I was in person, but then I realized actually I don't need to do everything like the way it used to be and, and the, 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 the it makes more sense for me personally. I prefer that I have set aside like two hours of time where I sit down, I watch the lecture, I take my notes, and then I do the reading right after that because that way it's kind of like still all my brain and I can put together what was just said in the lecture with what was in the reading and that link is way easier because what happens to me is that I read the article and I'm like, oh, I get the article. Like, I understand this person saying this, 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 and this, and this. But every, not every point that's mentioned in this article is what my seminar leader wants me to have in my brain for the seminar. But um, if I watch the lecture right before then, I have the main points that he wants me to understand already in my head and I'm ready to go. And I think it just saves some time for me at least. So as you can see, I've got the title and then I have some bullet points that are just like my thoughts and then I also have some big quotes with the footnote already done of things that might be relevant for me to talk about.